Hi everyone, welcome to How to Write a Short Film with me, Anthony Het, where I'll be giving you simple and practical advice on how to write an interesting and engaging short film. Today we're going to start right at the very beginning and we're going to look at inspiration, where it comes from and how you can inspire yourself to come up with new, interesting short film ideas. When I think of inspiration, the first thing I think is, ask yourself, what has inspired your previous ideas? And it might seem quite obvious, but it's the kind of, if it's not broken, don't fix it rule. If there's something that's inspired previous ideas, then do more of that. And that might not be easy. Maybe you can't do what has inspired you before, or maybe it's not working this time, or maybe you're a new writer and you're just looking for an idea of how to get started. So first of all, try what has inspired you before. And if you can't do that, then maybe try one of these other things. So the next thing that I thought, it's a question. Do you watch short films? Hopefully the answer is yes. If the answer is no, then I'd say, go and watch some short films. Now obviously watch the rest of this video, but then, you know, go off and watch lots of short films. There's plenty of places you can find them. Vimeo is really, really great. Um, on there you can find staff picks, um, short of the week is really really good, on YouTube you've got channels like Omeletto and Dust, but they're just kind of all over the internet, there's never been a time more so than now where there's so many great film directors making wonderful short films. And so go and watch, there's no better way to understand what makes a successful short film than, than watching lots of short films and watch the successful ones, but also watch the not so successful ones. Because that way you can watch them and, and learn what works well and what's not working so well, so you can learn what to do and maybe what not to do. So definitely watch short films, um, but it's not just short films. I'd highly recommend that you fill your life with as much art and culture as you possibly can. So watch films read books, go to the theatre, watch live bands, go to art galleries and museums. The next thing that I um, thought about was the news. So over the last couple of months or so I've been avoiding watching the news. I don't think you can completely get away from it but I've certainly not been searching for it. And the reason for that is because you know the, the news particularly at the moment has been really heavy and you know it it always seems to be bad news and I don't think that much negativity is necessarily good for your mental health. But the news can be a really good place to find good story ideas. So what I would suggest is um, local news. So if you look at local newspapers, they often have stories that don't necessarily make it into the, the national newspapers. So you, you get these stories that are often a little bit off the wall, a bit beyond belief sometimes, but you get these stories that you know can be great inspiration. So I, I'd look at local newspapers and I'd also think about looking at worldwide news as well. So maybe do you ever watch or read news from other countries? Um, pick a country, it could be France, Italy, Argentina, I don't think it matters which country it is kind of too much. Um, but check out their news, see if there's any interesting storylines from, from different countries because often, like I'm here in the UK, so our news, whether it's um, in print or on TV, if it's online, um, it's UK centric in, in general and the news that does come from other countries tends to be like the really big stories kind of around wars and pandemics and natural disasters and, and that kind of thing. So, but if you choose a country, look at their news. Their news, again, like ours, is not necessarily going to be well read outside of their own country. So if you're finding a cool, interesting news story from a country the other side of the world, then maybe that's a story that not a lot of your peers and, and the people within your kind of country and film community uh, know about. Um, so that could be a great source of, of inspiration. 
The other thing that, that really helps me is having somewhere that you can go, a quiet place that you can kind of retreat to so you can just think, try and think up new ideas or, or work and develop ideas that you already have. Maybe you've got something that you're trying to work out and you've kind of got the story but you're not quite sure what the plot is yet. When I was growing up, um, over the road from where my parents live, there's uh, a big wooded area and, and the, inside this wooded area there's kind of a little bit of a, a hidden waterfall and I used to go and, and sit there and it was almost like meditating, listening to the running water, the birds in the trees and it was just, you know, beautiful, I was outdoors, taking notepad and just kind of, you know, let that inspire me and think and let my man, mind wander and, and come up with ideas. Now, obviously we don't always have the luxury of having a kind of waterfall across the road from our house, I don't anymore. But is there somewhere that you can kind of go? Is there somewhere just in your house? Um, obviously, you know, you might have a really busy home life. Um, you might live at home with lots of siblings or you might have your own children. You might be in a flat share with lots of, of different people. You might have, you know, a busy, stressful job. You know, you're at school, university and you've got lots of, of work on with that and exams and all those kind of things going on. And, and life can be really busy. So not just for your writing, do you have a place where you can just sit in the kind of quiet and kind of think? Um, it can be really helpful. Do you have uh, an office in your house? Do you have a spare bedroom? Um, can it just be when you go for a shower maybe and you know you stand in the water for five or ten minutes and you know you let your mind wander and you think of story ideas? Um, before you go to bed at night, can you just lie in the dark for five or ten minutes, try and think of some ideas, have a, a notepad next to your bed, maybe a, a, a dream journal, so if you wake up and you remember your dream and you note that down. Um, and it doesn't have to be a place, also it can be an activity that kind of allows you, gives you that time to think. When you do something that you don't have to think about what you're doing, you, you've got chance to kind of think of something else. Do you run? Do you cycle? Do you go to the gym after work? For me it's swimming, so I'm a, an open water long distance swimmer and unfortunately <laughs> I've not been able, because of everything that's been going on, I've not been training as much as I would like, but normally I would be swimming five times a week, so that's kind of like six or seven hours in the water, just alone with my thoughts. And, and while I'm there, I'm kind of thinking about my swimming and my technique and if I'm training hard enough, but I'm also kind of putting the world to rights. I'm thinking about what things that's going on in my life and further afield in, in the world, wider world. But I'm also giving time to kind of think about my story ideas, thinking about dialogue ideas, trying to work things out. So do you have an activity that, that gives you that time alone just with your thoughts? Um, and it doesn't have to be like an exercise. You know, it could be just like doing the pots. So you stood at the sink for five, 10 minutes in the evening after having your tea. And you know, your mind's wandering and you're, you're thinking about story ideas then. But it's just trying to give yourself that space or that activity, something that gives you that freedom just to kind of think about your story ideas and you don't really need to think about anything else. So those are my ideas around inspiration. Hopefully they were helpful. Um, if you did find the video helpful, then give it a like. Um, if there's something I've missed out, if there's something that you do that inspires you, then maybe put it in the comments below and we can share it with, with everybody else. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And um, I'll be back shortly with my next video where I'll be running you through a creative writing exercise where, which is designed to try and uh, inspire you to come up with scenarios that you would never normally have, have, have thought of before. So do like, comment, subscribe and um, come back for the next video where we will be looking at this writing exercise.